It seems like such a short while back that Renault came into India, promised us five exciting new products, the first of which was the Renault Fluence. And well, time has certainly flown because now it's time for the fifth vehicle. And this is a mid-size saloon. This is the Renault Scala. It's based on the Nissan Sunny. We're gonna drive it around and see what the differences are. In case you're wondering how in the world has Renault managed to get a car from Nissan? Well, the answer is quite simple. Renault and Nissan are partners. The Micra and Sunny are built on Nissan's V platform, which is basically meant for emerging markets. This has given Renault access to two products that were, in a sense, developed for the Indian market. Then the only thing that Renault had to do was to give these Japanese cars a French twist. Amazingly, the company's design studio in India has brought Renault's very latest look to Indian shores on the Scala. It is a youthful and pleasing look, whereas the Sunny seems a bit gawky. The softer, more curvy headlamps and the big Audi-like grille give the Scala quite an imposing look. There are no major sheet metal changes and that is evident when you view the car from the side. But the stylish new 15-inch alloy wheels do fill up the wheel wells quite nicely. At the rear, there's a big chrome strip, which also acts as the car's name tag. The way it flows into the redesigned tail lamps is very nice. It does look very imposing. The rear bumper looks tidier too, as it has a blacked-out lower section, making it look less bulbous. Redesigning the interiors is a time-consuming and expensive affair, which is why the Scala has pretty much stuck to the Sunny's interior template. It has the same greyish dashboard, which feels a bit tough. The round layout of the air conditioner controls is the same. The music system is plain and the same as the Sunny. The chrome door handles. The instrument cluster and steering wheel look quite familiar too. But there is a Renault lozenge sitting on the steering wheel boss. It also has the keyless start-stop system. The seats though come wrapped in leather. And since the 2600mm of wheelbase is unchanged, there's lots of space at the front and the acres of legroom at the rear. Sadly though, the underthigh support on the rear bench isn't any better than that in the Sunny. On the safety front, the Scala gets ABS, EBD and ESP across the range for a safer experience on our roads. It also boasts of twin airbags on the top of the line variants. Also at your disposal is the 1.5 litre K9K diesel motor which also does duty in the sun. But this is actually a Renault engine. Its 85 bhp of power and 20 kg of torque sounds quite ordinary when compared to some of the other upper mid-size saloons. But the K9K is a solid workhorse. This motor is impressive. It's got a wide spread of power. Uh, it builds space also gradually, which is to say, uh, in the mid-range you really get this little bit of extra shove around the 3000 rpm mark, which is perfect for when you're cruising around on the highway, it gives you good responsiveness. But at the same time, I have to say, even though bar delivery is a bit softer low down in the rev range, it's great for city usage. You know, you'll find that it's got adequate pep and responsiveness to keep pace with traffic, to slip through gaps. So it's good for city duties and highway duties. Only thing is like on some of the card sections that we drove today, it can feel a bit queasy and you need to wind it up a bit more than you normally would. Uh, but all in all, good motor found that it revs easily to 4000 RPM as well. But the one thing is that the gearbox can feel a bit notchy when shifting quickly. But that is a small complaint. Of greater importance is how the Scala suspension deals with our roads. 
This Renault uses a McPherson struts at the front and a non-independent twist beam at the rear. Unlike the Sunny, where 15-inch rims are available only on the top-end variant, the Scala offers the bigger rims on the mid and on the top-end variants. Renault claims to have retuned the suspension setup as well. The Scala's ride quality is pretty good at lower speeds. It feels uh, more pliant than what I would have expected. Uh, it does have some of that low speed stiffness that we've experienced in the Sunny, but it just doesn't feel as sharp as that. And as speeds build, the ride quality still feels quite composed. It soaks up bumps quite well. It's more like you hear the bumps rather than really feel the bumps. But there is an exception. Over quick, sharp bumps, the Scala does tend to skip a bit. So, the Scala will offer a calmer backseat experience. At the same time, the driver won't complain either. The additional weight of the diesel motor and the bigger tyres give the Scala a solid air. This is a pretty nice car to drive as well. The bigger tyres give it that much more confidence and grip. The steering which is light at low speeds weighs up nicely. It's direct as well, so you can really use it nicely to point this around long corners. Renault also has the 1.5-litre 98bhp petrol motor made it to a 5-speed transmission. A CVT automatic transmission for the petrol will also be offered later on. For now, Renault will launch the Scala in the base RX-E and the mid-level RXL variants for the petrol. The diesel will be launched in the mid-level RXL and top-end RXZ variants. Price is expected to be in the region of 6.5 to 9 lakh rupees. Now a lot of people were wondering what the name Scala means. Well, we got the answer to that right from the top. Scala is a wonderful uh, opera house in Milano, in Italy, which is a neighboring country where Renault, you know, is in France. It's also show what Europe can bring in terms of DNA. Uh, it's also show how we can find, you know, that fusion between what uh, uh, um, old and innovative company can deliver with really Indian values. Uh, we believe Scala is also bringing that. So Renault's stylish Scala may not be an exciting new game changer, but its combination of French flair, excellent space, steady dynamics and a strong diesel motor is reason enough to tempt mid-sized saloon buyers to come in for a closer look. <laughs>